to be honest I really don't think I want to sing anymore like I mm, yeah my heart's my heart's not in it my head's not in it and I'm just tired like I'm just tired Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and my channel is Simply Sasha 404. I'm so excited that you guys clicked on this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my singing journey. I did put a post up on my Instagram, taking a poll, asking you guys which video you guys wanted to see, whether you wanted to see me do a quarantine video, like what I do, my routine, or my singing video, and the singing video one. I'm still gonna upload the quarantine video, it just will be after this video. But before um, we go ahead and get started, I just wanted to say I hope everyone is staying safe and cautious and washing your hands, and um, I'm praying for all the families and everybody in, like, in the world, and I hope you guys are just, you know, doing what you need to do, doing what you're supposed to be doing to help try to get this thing basically over with so don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the red button I would love for you guys to join my family join this family and um, yeah also follow me on my Instagram I did take the poll on my Instagram and you guys voted so here I am making the video um, also I think I want to start posting covers on IGTV I would love for you guys to leave me some comments down below on what songs you guys think I should cover, what songs you would like to hear, or you can also go follow me on Instagram and then, you know, DM me the songs you would like to hear. But yeah, either way, you know, we're gonna help go a little bit. I went so long without going blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> okay, so when did I start singing? Well, if you ask my family, they would say I started singing since I was like three years old. Um, obviously, I do not remember that. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys when I realized that, you know, maybe I could do the singing thing. Um, I believe I started in sixth grade, realizing, you know, I think I sound good. My family would tell me, hey, you you know, you sound, your voice you sound good. You sound good singing that song and stuff like that. Um, so in sixth grade, um, I don't remember why or for what reason, but I wrote a song. I wrote my first song ever and I titled it I Want You and it went a little bit like this. I want you, baby boy, be mine and I need you. I want you in my life when I see your face. You always have a smile. Baby, baby boy, I want you in my life. And yeah, I had a verse and you know, you know that was the chorus and all that. But um, yeah, I wrote that song and I was so excited of course it was about a boy <laughs> so we met up with this producer his name was Frank and he you know created a track for the song and it was really cool and, and then I believe somewhere in ninth grade um, or somewhere was it I always have trouble remembering if it was before ninth grade or when I started ninth grade but sometime in between there I got this amazing opportunity to sing at the reggae awards and um, they wanted me to sing there, which is like, like I know, right? Like really cool, awesome. But I was like, no, not awesome. I'm not singing on a stage by myself, that's scary. So my grandfather, um, along with my mom, came up with this idea to start a group. And um, there was three of us, it was my cousin Bree and my our friend Victoria. And we started a group and we were called Three Charms. We went through many names, we went through we wanted to be called Deep Image, um, <laughs> which Deep Image in the long one probably would have been a little better, maybe? I don't know. But we we came up with three charms, which was really cute, and we each had a charm. I was a star, uh, my cousin was the moon, and our friend was the sun. So it was really cool. Um, and we had we already had like our merch idea. See, we were like business minded already. Anyways, but yeah, we performed at the Reggae Awards. It was really cool. Um, we wrote music together. We filmed videos together. We um, danced together. My cousin choreographed a lot of dance dances, and it was super, super fun. And I loved it. And I wish I could have stayed in that group forever because it was so much fun. I think we would have made it. But. 
the group did fall apart because um, I ended up moving to Georgia and our friend Victoria ended up moving to either North or South, I think it was South Carolina. Um, so obviously we had to break up. So when I moved to Georgia, um, that was my 10th grade year, I was kind of convinced to do chorus. My mom and the guidance counselor was like, ah, you know, it should be an easy A, which is not, it's, you know, just because you can sing doesn't mean music is easy. It's really not, okay? Just saying. Between 10th and 11th grade is when I met this guy named Brandon. Um, he went by Fresh Boy. That was his rap name. Um, he uh, found out that I could sing. I don't remember how, but um, wanted to know if I wanted to do a song with him. And I was like, sure, why not? So I told my mom about it, she was like, cool. And um, yeah, it was fun. He wanted me to write to the track, which I did, and I have a video for you guys of that. Um, this is me in 12th grade though, just kind of singing along to the track off of a MySpace, off of my MySpace page. Whew, throwback, MySpace. It was catchy. Big and move on. That's where you wanna be. I, I could probably sing that now if I had the track. I probably would play it all the time. Um, so yeah, did that. Um, after that, I don't think we had, cause I mean I was in 10th and 11th grade, and for me to like go to his house or go anywhere to, to record, my mom would have to drop me. So I don't know why it didn't really, um, continue or grow much further than that. But it didn't. Um, anyways. Uh, fast forward to my senior, the summer before my senior year, my mom got sick. So um, we had to end up moving back to Florida. That's another story in itself. If you want to hear the whole story about my mom getting sick, let me know. But that's a different story. So anyways, I moved back to Florida for my senior year. And again, I was put in course. Like, I keep saying put because initially course was not my first ink like i didn't want to take it like i don't know for some reason i was like just because i can sing doesn't mean i should i mean i was um stubborn i guess like i don't know i kind of didn't want i don't know what was wrong with me i was a weird child so i did chorus and actually i'm so glad i did it was the most fun i've ever had in chorus even though i've only been in two courses well three middle school eh, two in high school but it was so much fun i had chorus with miss fuller and third block and that was amazing. I have a little picture of like some girls I was with and it was so much fun and I enjoyed it so much and I learned a lot and she really challenged us to be like creative and get out of like the box of just like chorus singing but it was super fun. But yeah I did that and um, that same year I got to record a song. I did a cover of Miley Cyrus's The Climb which was awesome and um, I did it in reggae. Um, I feel like around that time it was kind of a trend to go ahead and um, redo any kind of like song that's not reggae into reggae. So that's what we did. My family's Jamaican and that's what we ended up doing. cool um that year i also started my youtube channel my singing youtube channel and i will um insert my first two videos here for you guys because it's very interesting i look like i'm 12 years old but i'm not i'm turning 18 or i've already turned 18 actually when i graduated um high school so i'm about 17 18 so yeah Hi, my name is Asha and I'm going to be singing When I Look at You by Miley Cyrus. Acapella. Everybody needs inspiration. Everybody needs a song. A beautiful melody. When the night's so long. But there 
I really enjoyed doing covers and you know I did that but um, I didn't post as much as I would like obviously because I was a senior and I had a lot of senior things to do mm, you know I'm just kidding my senior wasn't that lit I had fun but it wasn't that lit but yeah I just you know got busy um, and then also after that we decided to move back to Georgia after my senior year um, so once I moved back I had quite a bit more free time and um, I decided to really um, go hard on like pumping out covers and stuff like that I'll put up some thumbnails of the ones I really like and maybe show you guys a few video clips of them and have it linked I'll have all the videos and stuff that I have to show linked down below in case you guys want to go see the whole thing <laughs> be my guest um, but yeah that's what I was doing for a good minute and then um, I came across um, another guy that raps which he was related to my um, best friend's ex. So that's how I kind of met him. Um, he rapped, he found out I can sing. He asked if I want to do some music with him. I said, yeah. And um, we did like, I, did, I think we did like a couple songs together. Um, I always wrote my own part. so much fun I really enjoyed making music um, with him and like other people that he included it was super fun to just be around people who wanted to do the same thing like we you know you you motivate each other to do what you want to do like if that makes sense so yeah after that it kind of died down a little bit and then maybe a year later um, a friend of a family um, came out of nowhere and was like well kind of came out of nowhere to me but um he was like hey you know really want to help you guys you know get Sasha out there like get her get known whatever be able to perform you know da -da -da. make this a thing basically so um, he ended up we ended up signing a contract with this person and um, this contract was I don't know I feel like um, that could be a separate story. So if you guys want to know my like label story, um, it was an independent label. I was the only artist at the time. But that's another story. I'm not going to talk about that in this video because that's not what this video is about. But yeah, so I will sign him. Um, I did um, come out of it with two albums, which is crazy. I have two albums it's on iTunes, Spotify. You can stream it. It's crazy. My first album was called Break Free. I have it right here. And that was that was the first album. It was really cute though. Um, I believe my first original song on there was Walk Away From Me. It's easy when there's not that much to say. But even when it's simple, it's so hard to explain. But I wanna know if you would love me just the same. That's the song. Um, I really like it. It's really cute. It's really catchy, actually. You guys should go check it out, download it, play it. <laughs> but yeah, and then my second album was called Journey, which I was really pumped about. I really loved it. I had more. I had a little bit more like opinions in this one and things like that. It felt more matured. Journey is actually um, a song on the album, and I decided to name it Journey because I felt like you know this singing thing was a journey. I got, oh, I also, I almost forgot. I also, off of the Journey album, had a number one song. That song was Borrowed Time. I'll play a little bit. It is a cover. Um, I believe it was a cover of an uh, Olivia Newton John song called Borrowed Time. And yeah, it was number one in Jamaica. <laughs> That's super cool to say. It, it, I guess, I don't know. It's just weird to say say and kind of hard to believe a little bit but I saw the papers and yeah I said it, it was number one so super cool but yeah that was my journey with being signed to a label that situation was pretty crazy a little bit towards the end um, I do think that it did have an effect on how I felt 
going forward. Um, I was pretty like, I guess hurt and kind of just tired. Um, I know like with whether you want to be a singer or an actress that you're gonna get a ton, you're gonna get a ton of no's and things like that, but that doesn't mean you have to just act like everything's okay when you don't feel okay. It's okay to be like, you know, I'm sad about this. I'm just kind of tired of it never really working out. Um, and you know, I think I just needed to kind of accept that, deal with it, and then I could move on. But yeah, that's how I felt after to the point where I didn't even, I didn't want to sing anymore really. I didn't want to really record. I was kind of just, eh. I want a break, which I got a good break because I got proposed to that year. So it was, you know, pretty good timing for a break that I needed because I, you know, I had to plan a wedding and things like that. And um, at the same time, I mean, I didn't quit singing altogether. I was singing at my church, which I'm obsessed with. <laughs> I go to church by the Glades. It's an amazing church. Um, nobody can convince me otherwise. But um, yeah, I was singing there. I started to sing there more often, and I just love it there. It's amazing. Um, my church family is amazing and you guys should definitely check out Church by the Glades if you are looking for a church or even if you're not looking just check it out it's really it's it's amazing um but yeah after I got married I got another opportunity with somebody else that wanted to work with me and make music with me and I kind of feel bad I just was not my heart was just I was it was just not my head and my heart I don't know it was I was just not into it. I don't know if it was because I was tired of doing reggae. I don't know if I wanted to do something different. I don't know if I was not over like everything that happened. I don't know. It was just, it, yeah, it didn't work out. Um, at this point in my life, how I feel now is I feel much better. I feel like I want to explore and figure out what type of music I want to do, what music I love, what music do I sound good singing at? Like, I want to try everything, and I feel like I am. Um, my friend Nikki from church and from work, she um, does music, she produces. I'm super excited because she asked me to be on one of her tracks, and I've never ever done this type of music before. So I was like, yeah, that sounds really cool, and I would love to try it. Obviously, we're not recording right now because, you know, there's like a little pandemic going on, but. <laughs> we hopefully will get back to it once this clears up hopefully this clears up it was cool to like test those waters out with her and I'm really interested in doing some acoustic stuff so but I'm just super excited to just explore and try different things and I can't wait it's crazy because if you would if you would ask me this question about three months ago I probably would have been like to be honest I really don't think I want to sing anymore like I, mm, yeah, my heart's, my heart's not in it, my head's not in it, and I'm just tired, like, I'm just tired. Yeah, that's what I said, I would have said three months ago, but I, I realized it's not that I didn't love singing, I love singing, I couldn't stop if I wanted to, it was just the whole process of, like, that process, that whole journey that I went through, that whole experience that I went through was um, a little sad, I guess, for me. Like it was okay to be upset about that um, and I just needed to work through it the way that I needed to work through it. But I did and now I'm here trying to figure out new things and now I'm actually excited and I'm ready and I can't wait and <laughs> yeah I'm ready, I'm excited. Also I also want to start doing covers on IGTV like I said in the beginning so go ahead and leave comments down below of what songs you guys would love to hear on that and make sure you go follow me on Instagram so you guys can keep up with you know that and yeah dm me dm me songs too if you follow me um but yeah, but yeah so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel um i can't thank you guys enough for watching this video and i would love it if you guys join the family and um yeah so yeah i'll see you guys on my next video bye deuces